Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. In this week's episode, we are gonna be looking at bleeding fallout removers, and we're gonna be comparing 10 recommended products, explaining how they work, testing them extensively, and providing you with some recommendations of what I think are the best products. Guess that I am wrong or how We're close now I've been making my amends Come and see Where have you been off to now? Wait for me Dear beloved, lend me light As I wander off into the night Or I won't be So bleeding fallout removers, what are they for and, and how do you use them? So first up, one of the most common types of contaminant that you're gonna get on your car, on the paintwork of your car and the alloy wheels of your car is iron contaminant, sometimes referred to as fallout. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure why it's called fallout, um, but anyway, iron contaminant that's on your paintwork. Now iron contaminant pr primarily comes from steel brake discs and the iron that is actually in part of the brake pad composition. So some of your brake pads or most brake pads contain a certain amount of iron. When those brake pads are acting on those steel brake discs, you are shooting off small particles of, of iron contaminant that embeds itself on your alloy wheel and the surface of your car. And that's where most of it comes from. Iron contaminant is also present in the environment. Things like railroads where you've got kind of steel um, you know, uh, train wheels running on steel train tracks where obviously you're gonna be um, releasing small amounts of that dust onto road and into the air. So you can get contaminant on your paintwork from other sources, but 99% of it is coming from your own braking system. So next up, how do these products actually help remove that iron contaminant from your car? Now, if you read the product instructions or the label, the description of the product, if you like, a lot of them say that they work by reacting with the iron and dissolving it from the paintwork. And that was, that was my understanding of how these products work. They, they do something to the, to, the, to the iron to kind of dissolve it in a, in, in a chemical reaction and it bleeds off of your car. So the, so the first thing I wanna do in testing that is get a pure form, a 99.9% .9 pure form of atomized iron put a set amount of it in, in these Petri dishes and test all the products to see how fast it, it would react and how much of the iron powder would actually dissolve into a liquid. The first thing I noticed is when I put this into the dish and put the products in, nothing happened, there was no reaction. And it's at that point I knew I was in trouble. As always, when things go wrong from doing this channel, I got a few contacts that are in the industry that understand the formulation and the chemistry behind these and they were able to give me some good guidance on how these products actually work and a more suitable test for how I can kind of measure one part of their potency. Right, so how do these products actually work? So if we imagine this is our clear coat, okay? at a microscopic level and it's probably not a good description of what clear coat looks like under a microscope but let's just think of it as hills and valleys as they come kind of sometimes say now we, we talked about where the where this iron fallout comes from so you imagine this is a particle of the iron fallout that's hit your paintwork and stuck to it because it's kind of sharp and jagged so you get this build up of iron on your clear coat The next thing is, and the important thing to understand how these products work, is that iron reacts with oxygen, oxygen, in the air to form something known as iron oxide, or Fe2O3, or in layman's terms, rust. And that rust or oxide forms on the outside of the rust that is exposed to the air and anchors and pushes the, the iron contaminant into the clear coat so it gets embedded into the clear coat and harder to remove as it expands and forms that oxide layer on the surface. So these fallout remover products work 
by causing a chemical reaction with the iron oxide which forms on the outer surface of the iron contaminant. So the active ingredient in these products is called sodium thi. No, I'm not sure how you spell it. Thi glycolic gly. There's got to be a Y in there. Glycolic acid. So that component of these products reacts with this iron oxide to form iron thi gly. Colic oxide and this product when that reaction occurs is water soluble so TGA sodium thioglycolic acid and water they often typically detain detergents to help clean the surface of the alloy wheel or the paintwork typically or the glass wherever the fallouts embedded into and potentially other forms of acid to help cleaning like oxalic acid or other salt acids salt acids so that's the typical um, that's the typical chemistry of these types of products um, so the sodium thioglycolic acid reacts with the iron oxide that forms on the surface of the iron and anchors it into the paintwork as it expands it dissolves the iron thioglycolic oxide that's formed and is water soluble. So once that liquid is dissolved and run away in water, the iron that's left is smaller and easier to remove. So these products are actually there to dislodge the bonded contaminant that is stuck to your paintwork or alloy wheel coatings. So next up, I wanna run through the specific tests we're gonna be doing, the lab style tests, okay? So there are five tests here that I did. First thing I need to do is go and get myself the correct product to test them on. So as we've talked about, this is, this is a pure form of ferric oxide, Fe203, in its brown format, okay? It comes in red and black as well. But um, red, I thought, was gonna to interfere too much with my ability to see the actual reaction. So I went with the brown, the brown version. The first test I did on these was placing 0.5 of a gram of the ferric oxide in a, in a putri dish and mixing it with four milliliters of fallout and measuring the quickness of the reaction and how much of the actual oxide was left all, all after five minutes. The next test I did was using one gram of the ferric oxide with five milliliters of fallout. And the aim of that was to try and push the boundary of how much ferric oxide I was, I was using so that I could effectively see the ones that were able to cope with that and still dissolve a gram of it and the ones that couldn't. So it was, just, it was just doing some different tests to try and give me some different boundaries. After that, what I did was put 0.5 of a gram um, of, of ferric oxide, again with four milliliters of, um, of fallout remover, but this time, instead of just leaving the product still, each one I swilled around, because what, could, what I noticed happening with the first few tests is that as the product sits on top of it, um, if it doesn't move, then you kind of, all of the, the powder that's underneath that initial layer doesn't get as hit as much. So by just rotating it around for the full five minutes, it would make sure that all of the, um, all of the ferric oxide actually encountered or was covered you know, with, with some of the actual active ingredient. The next test I did after that was, was um, mixing all of these fallout removers at a one to nine ratio, so nine parts water, one part product, to water them right down, and then use a tiny amount of, um, of um, the ferric oxide and see which liquid at a very low concentration would give the highest, the highest reaction of color. Um, on the chart, so that was a, it was it was me trying to zero in on a way of really really identifying which ones can contain the most thigolic acid. One final test that I wanted to do, which was really just an observation thing for me, was repeat the first test with 0.5 of a milligram of ferric oxide and four milliliters of product, and leave all the petri dishes for 12 hours and have a look at what happened. And what I noticed with some of the products, they would return back to the original state. They'd lose that horrible smell, the purpleness would disappear, and you'd be left with the oxide back in the, the, um, the Petri dish, and I wasn't sure why. So I'm thinking that the iron, um, the iron thioglycolic oxide that's dissolved in water 
some of that component is evaporating and then it's leaving the iron oxide back in there. So um, I was interested in the ones that stayed purple the longest and were the deepest purple after um, 12 hours and see if I could form any comparisons with those particular products that did well at that and also had faster kind of more vivid reactions. So those were the five kind of main TGA reaction tests that we've done in this video. The next test that we were doing was looking at the cling, so the viscosity and the, the thickness of the products and how well they cling. Now that is kind of a beneficial attribute for a fallout remover. When you're spraying these on the underside of your alloys or anywhere where it's gonna roll off, if the product's too thin, a lot of your product or your active ingredient can just roll off of that surface before it's had a chance to react. So a good cling is important. Same for when you're doing it on vertical um, panels of paintwork, you're spraying it on, you don't want it to all run off of the car. So cling is something that is desirable for me. Um, associated with cling also, and the thickness of this, we were looking at the ones that kind of um, dried out the quickest, which was something that you want to avoid, especially you know when you're working outside and there's temperature in the panel. So the slower these products dry, the better. So cling and drying was one thing we looked at. The next test we did in this video was just a real world practical test where we took all of the products in the bottles and the sprayers provided, which is important, used them on dirty alloy wheels, contaminated alloy wheels, and tried to observe how effective they were in just, you know, normal practical sense of cleaning the alloys and if I could spot any differences and how effective they were. It's important to kind of balance the lab style test with actually using these products. In a similar fashion, the next test we did was a real world test where we have a heavily contaminated car. So my sister's car was absolutely perfect for this. I spotted it when I was walking in to her house the other day. Was, all over the roof and the side of her car was this black spot contamination. And I had a quick look at it and made sure it reacted with these products and it did. So it's, it's this iron contaminant all over her clear coat and I'll overlay the pictures of that. I said to her, do not clean your car, whatever you do, I need it for a video. And she said, don't worry, I haven't cleaned it for five years. She wasn't planning on cleaning it for the next five as well. So I just said, keep doing what you're doing, you know, it's great. <laughs> so there we go. We had a perfect car for testing the ability of these products to actually bleed contaminant and release that contaminant off of paintwork. The next parameter we were looking to judge these um, products up against each other was cost, which is a very simple one, but it's a very important one to do. And all we did was, for each offering or size of offering that these companies are providing, we calculated those offerings to the price per litre. And then we took the average across all of their offerings, and then that gave us a final figure, and we rated them in order of that to give us a pretty fair way of, of marking them on cost and value for money. So that's our judging criteria. I might also be commenting on some of the bottles and the spray triggers as well, because they are relevant, but the essential thing is those tests that I've talked about here. So the next thing is to walk through all of the products and then go through the results and provide our recommendations. So first up, AM Details, AM Iron. So thanks for Alan for sending this in for the test. This is in alphabetical order, by the way. Angel Wax Revelation, Auto Finesse, Iron Out, Auto Glands Blood Tonic, Built Hamber Auto Wheels, Bright Max Iron Max, Car Pro Iron X, Duca Bleed, HDD Ferrous Ferric. And finally, Valet Pro Dragon's Breath. So next up, I want to go through each of the test results and sort of provide the winners of each of the individual tests. And then at the end, we'll do the overall recommendation, the overall winners, if you like. So first up was the Battle of Cling and Drying. In third place was Auto Glands Blood Tonic. So you can see with this one, it is quite a thick, not completely gel-like, but it's got a sort of slight gel consistency to it, and that allowed it to cling well, and it seemed to sort of last really well without drying out and thinning, especially on the alloy wheels. So that did really well in that particular test. 
in second place, and it was a very close second place with how the products cling and how well they'll dry, was Valet Pro Dragon's Breath. If you actually get this out of the bottle and have a look at it, it's quite thick and gel-like. Again, it was almost like the ones that looked the thickest were the ones that hung around and, and clung the most. So this one sticks to the paintwork and the alloy wheels, which is especially handy when you're trying to get under there and you don't want it to roll out. So that's Valet Pro Dragon's Breath. In first place, by far away the thickest and the heaviest of all the products, and it's the, probably the, the unique feature of this particular one, was HDD Ferric, Ferrous Ferric. So I hadn't used this, this one before. Brian from um, Detailing Well really likes it, and uh, you know, Shane kindly sent it over from the test. Shane Webster, the owner of HDD. So thank you very much for that. This is without doubt the thickest one that takes the longest to dry and clings the best. The next test was just the layman's test of spraying these onto dirty alloy wheels, um, not rinsing the alloys first. Eight out of 10 of these products do not tell you to clean the surface first, two of them do. So there's a whole separate debate about how you should use them and how you can use them more efficiently so you're not wasting the reaction part of the product on all, all the loose dirt. But I basically just followed the instructions as given by 80% of them and used them on dirty alloys, left them to start to react, worked them a bit, agitated them a bit, rinsed off, and then tried to form an opinion on which ones were the most effective. And here's my three winners. So in third place, Duca Bleed. So this, this reacts quickly and heavily with a real kind of deep purple, rich purple that people will always like when they spray them on alloys. There's a good amount of detergent in here, I think, as well. You do get some, you get some of that kind of foaming up action. The product clings well as well. It's close to knocking, knocking the auto glands off the third place for that. There's very little in it. But in terms of how well it cleaned the alloy, this product was really, really effective. So that's Duca Bleed in third place. The, the next one, uh, Auto Finesse Iron Out. So this, this product lit the alloy wheel up in a real deep purple. So it did better on the alloy wheel test than it did in the lab test. It did well in the lab test as well. So I think the thigolic component of this particular product, Iron Out, is strong. But it did a really great job of cleaning off, off the alloys every time I've used it. So I was impressed with this stuff. Auto Finesse Iron Out. In first place in the alloy wheel cleaning test, for me, was Built Hamber Auto Wheels. It lights up so quickly when you, when you use it, um, but it also has a good foaming action in there, so when you start working it with the brush, it really clears out all of the gunk and grime. Um, so that was my favorite one, actually, just spraying onto the alloys, scrubbing the hell out of it, letting it react as well, and then rinsing it off and getting the best results. So those are my three personal favorites at cleaning the alloy wheel. There's some honorable mentions here. The Brightmax one doesn't react as strongly as the others, and we'll talk about that a bit later on, but it foams up nicely, and you can really work it over the surface of the alloys, and it does get going, the reaction does start to happen, um, but it just did a good job of cleaning the alloys. Um, the Valet Pro one was good, the AM Details one was very good, Reg liked that one, nice and quick to react and a real deep purple, did a good job on the alloys, he wanted to nick that one off me, said hell no, I've got to finish the video first. So um, when you're using them in, in, in layman's terms and just spraying them on the alloys, that is the hardest way to separate them, um, but, but from using them a fair few times now, the three that I've recommended were my favourite in this kind of practical style test if you like. The next test is the paintwork decontamination. So as I mentioned, my sister's Audi, you know, covered in this black contaminant that I tested reacts with this stuff. So it was, whatever that contaminant is, a large part of it, it looks like sort of iron fallout contaminant. And they, they all reacted with it to the sort of different, different amounts. Anyway, in third place, again, Duca bleed. Good quick level of reaction, lots of bleeding throughout the whole kind of five minutes that I tested it. And by the end, it had really softened. There was lots of kind of purple deep reaction there. And it really kind of weakened the, the fallout to the extent where it was coming off the paintwork very easily just by gently rubbing your finger over it. Don't do that. You know, my sister's paintwork, 
it's, it's just ruined anyway. So, you know, you're not doing any harm poking it with your finger, but you know, a nice paintwork. Don't start picking the contaminant off. So that's Duca Bleed in, in third place on the paintwork decon. In second place, Built Hamber Auto Wheels. Again, a very fast, quick reaction, consistent reaction, bleeding all the way through. And at the end, the product was that, that was left there was considerably weaker. So um, that worked very well on the paintwork test. A note, Built Hamber have two products, the, the Auto Wheels product, which is for wheel, a wheel cleaner, reactive wheel cleaner, if you like. And then they have a paintwork specific fallout remover called Corosol. So the formulation of those two products of a slightly different functions, but it would have been too complicated to put two products from one brand in there. And I think they're the only ones that, that offer two. So we're just going with the auto wheels, but be aware of that. Um, so that came second in the paintwork test. The one that won the paintwork decontamination test was this one here, Car Pro Iron X. So this is a lot thinner than all the other products, but this lit up the, the, um, the fallout on the car quicker in this particular test. It might have something to do with the fact that it's thinner, so you're getting a little bit more movement there, so you're seeing the bleed. But but in terms of what I could see, you know, I could see it lighting that up quickly, and then come the end of it, that fallout was very, very easy to get off of the panel. So it, it was close, it was close with all of these actually, but I think this was the best at paintwork decontamination, perhaps. So that's my order. That one, that one, and that one. Next up, value for money. In third place, so I mentioned how I did this by taking the average of all their offerings, converting to a price per litre for all the offerings, and then taking the average of that. Third place, HDD Ferric, Ferrous Ferric. Always struggle with that one. Um, that came in with an average price of 13.65. Um, per litre um, across all different sizes. It's 8.99 for 500 mil, 14.99 for a litre, and 39.99 for five litres, which is a very competitive bulk price. So that, that was in third place by, by a significant margin over the next one as well, actually, a couple of pounds. So these three are the ones that are really doing it on value. In second place on cost or value for money is Built Hamber auto wheels so this comes in at 1295 per litre which is the second cheapest offering in price per litre and 52 pound 95 for five litres which i think is the fourth cheapest but on average across of its ranges it came in at 11 pound 75 per litre and was in second place in first place for value for money or cost was angel wax revelation um, so this one, this one, let's just go through the prices. It's seven ninety nine for five hundred mil, which is a pound cheaper than the next cheapest one, which is that one, and 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 up to um, and up to four pounds cheaper than the most expensive, which is quite a lot. That's almost fifty percent of its own price cheaper. But the, this becomes a real bargain when you buy one liter of this. It's nine ninety nine. So it only goes up by two pounds for the extra litre. So the price per this per litre is almost half of some of the other products at the litre offering, you know. Um, so this, this one here, for example, is, is 20 pounds or 19.95 for a litre. So at, at 9.99 for a litre, it's fantastic value. And it's 39 pounds 95 for five liters, which is also the cheapest in this test at five liters. So this one smashed the value for money. Now, we're gonna talk about some of the other reactive tests that we did and the results of those. It didn't win any of the performance tests, okay? Um, so there was others that react quicker. There's, there was others that I felt were kind of slightly stronger, more concentrated products. But that, the price of that product, especially at 9.99 for a liter, is really, really good. Um, you will not find many, you know, you, you're gonna to struggle to find other fallout removers that are 9.99 for a liter of them. So that's fantastic value for money. If you're one of these guys that's of the opinion that all of these products are the same and you just want the cheapest. Now I'm not of that opinion, but value and cost for money to me is still very, very important. But, um, so this category is important in the overall test. 
but Angel Wax smashed it on that one. Um, some of their products, like I've reviewed them on the brand, some of their chemical products, like their detail sprays, are, they're very good and they're well under market value. So there's some good stuff in that range to check out. So see the Angel Wax brand review if you've not used any of their products. Revelation is an effective fallout remover at fantastic value for money. So the next one is the important one, the battle of the TGA or the thigolic reaction, trying to do a series of lab tests. And I think five is enough, you know, because this is already getting a bit silly, this bloody video, but I want to do it properly, you know. Um, but we tested this to hell and back using the Petri dish test with different amounts of the ferric um, oxide, you know, and then really, really upping the concentration or the mixture of these with water. So they were a lot weakened and then putting small amounts of the ferric oxide in there to try and really see which ones could cope, you know, and had the most in there. So these were just the way that I could think to come up with meaningful ways of testing them. And the one thing is the results were pretty consistent across this, this range of tests. So as well as, as well as looking at the speed that they reacted, the overall sort of darkness of, of the, the reaction, and how much oxide was kind of visible in there because I'm looking for it to dissolve it. And I'm pretty confident these three recommendations are worthy winners of this, although it is close. The, the winners, well, the first and second, I'm pretty confident have an edge. Um, third place was run very, very close. So let's talk about them. In third place, it is our friend that's done well in this particular it's done well in this, I've not used this before. Rob Duca sent it, Rob Duca, Rob Inglis uh, from Duca sent it to me because I featured his buckets as a way of saying thank you. So uh, mercy buckets, Rob. Um, this product is good, okay? I've not used any Duca stuff before. When you're using a new range, you're kind of looking at it saying, is it the real deal or not? This stuff is the real deal. It's a very good fallout remover that has done well in all these tests, works well on paintwork, works well on wheels. And really importantly, it reacts very well. It reacts quickly. It reacts with a very deep, darker purple that put it right up there in the top of the competition. Um, and that reaction stays there for longer and keeps going and leaves less oxide in the, 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 in the dish than most of the other products. Run very close by this one, um, Blood Tonic, which is a concentrated kind of... Um, you know, it's a concentrated one that I'll talk about a little bit later on, but you can actually mix this product down to get it going a bit quicker. This one is highly concentrated as well, but just took, took a little bit longer to get going. Uh, and probably in, in fifth place, the next one down would be Auto Finesse Iron Out, which is done well in this video, in, in all of the tests. But definitely, I think um, these ones just edged it on power over those. So that third place, Duca Bleed for me. Um, second place, Car Pro Iron X. Um, so this reacts very quickly with the oxide. It turns it a real kind of vivid purple liquid. It's thinner than the others, but it's still, you see, still see it acting on that kind of oxide very well and getting rid of it, and leaving less behind and staying a very deep, vivid purple for a hell of a long time. So that's, this is powerful stuff, this Iron X, one of the original kind of fallout removers to the market and very effective. It's got some weaknesses and we'll, we'll talk about each of the products a bit later on, but it very, did very well in this TGA side of, of the, um, the testing. In first place, Built Hamber Auto Wheels. This stuff for me, out of all of the Petri dishes, once they've had their kind of five or 10 minutes of it sitting there, the, the, what was left in the Petri dish was just this deep purple blood and I could see hardly any oxide in there at all and it was, the, it was like the darkest and the smoothest of all of them and got there probably the quickest, although it's run close by some of these others. But it was what was in that dish after five minutes that made me pick this one as the winner and I've been using it a long time. You know, I'm not doing this test with any bias but I had high, kind of high expectations of built Hamber auto wheels because it's the one that I've probably used the most. And it's the one where I've always had the opinion that it's, it's somehow managed to outperform other fallout removers. And um, it's really interesting for me to do this test myself and kind of see all these results with my own eyes. And I've done a hell of a lot of testing. And this for me was the, the most effective in the lab style reactivity tests which we've which we've run through so built hamber auto wheels well done 
So finally, the overall recommendations based on all of these tests, this is like the top three, if you'd like, of this video. And it's difficult to do. You know, I wanted to be fair here and give everyone a fair crack of the whip. Um, but I'm pretty confident that these are the three that like I like the most. And if I'm looking to go and buy them, you know, I've been buying this one for a long time. But if I was looking to go and buy them, these are the ones that I would be going for. So in third place, Duca Bleed did well in all of the tests, was getting into those top three on most of the tests, nearly in the value for money. I think it was fifth in the value for money. Um, but on the reaction tests, the alloy wheel cleaning, the paintwork decontamination showed me that it's a really powerful, potent, effective product um, that's also good value for money. And it's a worthy kind of podium um, placed product. So that's Duca Bleed in third place. In second place, Car Pro Iron X. Now this one, this one is not without faults, okay? So this one, when I was doing the drying test, this one is a lot thinner than the others and it definitely dries the quickest, which is something you don't want. And some people might not, not like it for that reason. It also, for me, seems to contain less detergent than the other ones. And again, it could be speculative, but when you're spraying it onto the alloys, some of the other ones, they really kind of foam up. You know, I know it might be foaming agent, but I don't think it is. I think it's the level of the detergent. Um, whereas this seems to stay flatter, you know, less foamy, less effective as a wheel cleaner, but highly effective as a, as a fallout remover. So they tell you on the bottle to wash the surface that you're using it on first, and then you use it more specifically to bleed out that fallout. Um, amazing for paintwork decontamination you know probably the fastest to react because of that thinness maybe I don't know but I think the TGA content is very high on this and like I say doing the TGA test it ran built hamber very very close so there are some other negatives to this as well that it's priced competitively at 500 um, milliliters at 999 but uh, its bulk offering is 60 pounds and that's 60 pounds for four liters as opposed to 60 pounds for five liters like all the rest of them. And that actually made it the most expensive bulk offering in the test. And um, that was a little bit unlike CarPro because they're for the professionals as well. So if the bulk price of this could come down, it would need to come down quite significantly. I think that would make this a little bit more desirable for me because I like buying bulk. You know, it's always good to get five liters worth. Um, so, perhaps less suitable for using, throwing it on dirty alloys and scrubbing it because it's a bit flatter and a bit thinner, dries a bit quicker. Um, perhaps could be a bit cheaper, but very potent and a, and a great sort of fallout remover for paintwork and for, for embedded kind of uh, fallout on your alloys after you've rinsed them and cleaned them with something else, which is how a lot of people tend to use them. So it did really well to get into second place because it does have some negatives, this product, but ultimately it's it's very, very potent, and that, I always like potency, that's good with me. So, Car Pro Iron X in second place. So, the finale in first place, and the winner of this test, Built Hamber Auto Wheels. So first up, all of the products we've featured in this video are available in links in the description, as always. This product, I believe, is available in the US as well. I think there's a distributor out there. If I can find it, um, I'll put it in the description for you. But I'll put a link in there for the UK guys of where you can go and get this product. So to win the overall kind of recommendation in this test, this, this particular product had to perform well in all of the different areas that we were kind of looking at. It did well in the kind of layman's practical test where you're spraying it on a wheel. I thought it was the, it was the best one there, like I mentioned earlier on. It did well in the paintwork, you know, decontamination test where you're spraying it on and you're reliant more on that reaction to do to remove that kind of those small specks of kind of bonded iron contaminant, which is important. Um, it clings well, okay. There's a few thicker products in there, so it didn't win that test, but it doesn't run off the paintwork. It holds there. It's got slight foaming quality to it. Also important to mention that it's probably the best spray trigger out of all of them. 
it, it atomizes well enough, not so it all kind of blows away in the wind, but it also gets the product out there in a nice area quickly. So they do good bottles, very unique bottles as well. I don't see any of the other guys using these trigger heads, so I don't know where they get them from, but I always, I always keep my built handler spray triggers because they're good as well. Um, like I said, very importantly, the value for money test, it came second, so it was winning all of the performance tests, but still doing that at the top level of value for money. What I want to do now before I kind of finish this video is just run through all of these products, just literally 10 seconds on each to summarize where their, where their kind of strengths are as well. So AM Details, AM Iron from uh, Alan Metcraft up in Elgin, Scotland, you know, friends of the channel. This product was not out of place in this test, okay? It's got a lot going for it. I've used it before and I know it works. I've cleaned heavily, heavily contaminated to the fact where all the fallout bonded on and gone brown on my Golf, and I've got some pictures of that, that I'll overlay. That was about a year ago, so I knew this worked. It reacts fast enough, it's a good product, but for it to win this test, um, you know, there was products that were, were, were slightly better than it at reacting, but were also cheaper, so it was gonna struggle to win there, but I said to Alan, you know, it's a, it's a very effective fallout remover. He's newer to the game than a lot of these guys, and to be mixing it with some of these other established products is pretty impressive, so the AM, iron product is good next up angel wax revelation we talked about the main feature of this product and the main feature of this product is its value for money it blows some of the other products away on value for money especially at the one liter offering so if you're not looking to buy it's cheap at bulk as well but if you're just looking to buy a product to try you've not tried these bleeding fallout removers and you want something sitting on the shelf and you don't buy the bulk stuff Get one litre of this for $9.99. It's effective, okay? It's not winning because there's some that are stronger on the reaction side and stuff like that. Um, but a lot of people are of the opinion that all these products, doesn't matter which one you use. If you, if you are of that opinion, you just want the value for money, then you have Angel Wax Revelation there. Next up, Auto Finesse Iron Out. I was impressed with the performance of this product, okay? Did really well in the wheel cleaning, just using it, the layman's test, you know, that how most people use them, spray them on the alloys and see what it does. And the results were really good. It was up there knocking on the door in the TGA test, but I think there was probably four that just edged it above this, but this is a, this is a decent product, it done well. Um, one thing that was against it in this particular test is the price. There were some you know, that, were, that were beating it on value, so um, it was comparatively more expensive than the others. Um, so to be winning, it pro probably would need to be a bit cheaper. But a lot of the, these products, you know, they, the guys that sell them do deals and stuff like that, so if you ever see an opportunity to get products you know, a reduced price, then that one is a very effective fallout remover and, and wheel cleaner as well. Um, next up, Auto Glands Blood Tonic. So this one, in the TGA test, in terms of how dark and how much of this oxide it can actually kind of dissolve and turn into the uh, dissolved form of the TGA oxide, this was up there with all the best ones. It just took a little bit longer to get there. That was the only thing with it. And now I think this product, it says on here that it's concentrated and you can water it down three to one. And I think if you actually put a little bit of water in this product, it works better and it speeds up the reaction because there's more water there to kind of dissolve the um, thigolic oxide that's formed. So that is something to consider, but if I considered that with this product, I'd have to consider it with the other ones that were really potent and I didn't want to start watering it down. So um, blood tonic, Definitely very powerful, definitely up there with the, the TGA test. And if you water it down, the value for money of it suddenly will shoot right up, you know, and it will probably be one of the cheapest. So it's good stuff. One other quick point though, all three of these products, these spray triggers are not particularly great. Um, they tend to atomize too much and you can't get enough of the product out of there. So that does affect how they perform as well. So you can always decant these and put them in other bottles. They're not completely hopeless, these spray triggers, but they're just a little bit too much pumping and not enough product for me personally. So all three of them could benefit from, from some of these other spray trigger heads. Okay, we've already talked about uh, Bill Hamber Auto Wheels and it's the winner, so we don't have to say too much more about that. That product is pretty formidable in terms of this whole kind of reactive cleaning element. Next up, Bright Max Iron Max. Okay, 
So this one didn't do as well as some of the other ones in the lab tests, you know, doing all these kind of tests on the oxide and seeing how quickly it reacts. But it did really well when you actually get it out there and just blast it onto the alloys and see it foam up and you scrub it and you do see the reaction occur. So um, it's an effective product. We're gonna talk about this product a little bit more because um, Brightmax kind of do a system of using this as a clay lube with their clay bar. So using the fallout remover to decontaminate your paintwork as you actually do the claying, which is something that's interesting enough that it's probably worthy of its own video. So we're gonna talk about this product and their clay system in another video. So that's the Bright Max Iron Max. Next up, Car Pro Pearl. So it's Car Pro Pearl, Car Pro Iron X, sorry. So there were some things about this product that I didn't like. I didn't like the five litre bulk price on it, which is expensive and it, that, I would like that to come down. But not that not in my opinion matters too much, but you know, for it to be competitively priced at bulk, I think is important. Um, there is one other weakness that it dries noticeably quicker than the others and it's thinner. So you get a little bit more run, less of a problem on paintwork. It also doesn't kind of degrease and, and clean as well. So I think it's less suitable for alloy wheel cleaning perhaps, but they say clean or rinse the alloy wheel first and then use it. So they're giving you con good consumer advice. And if you follow that, this is one of the most potent. I put it second overall in the TGA and how, how it actually dissolves that oxide. And it's thin, so it really works well when you're using it on the small spots of paintwork. And it won the practical paintwork test and comes second overall. So it's a product I really like. Um, but like I say, there was a few flaws that I picked up on in the test. Um, I'd, still, I'd still use it without too much problem because of how, how potent and effective it is. So that's CarPro Iron X. Next up, Duca Detailing, just a really strong all-rounder, like I said. Third place overall, does everything well, it's thick, it's concentrated, reacts fast, keeps reacting, dissolves a hell of a lot of iron oxide, perhaps only beaten by these two on how much it can actually munch through, if you like that kind of uh, term. So really good and good value for money. Very Done really well to get onto the podium for a product I've not used before. Um, with all of this sort of good competition. They're all, all pretty solid products here. Next up, HDD Ferros Ferric. Okay, so this one's claim to fame is the cling, how it sticks to the paintwork. It does react okay, and it does go a deep purple, and it does eat up quite a lot of the oxide, but it doesn't get there as quick as some of the other products. You know, they react quicker than it. So that was the only thing I could see that it wasn't, wasn't you know, up there putting it into the top echelons of this kind of test. Um, it's also good value for money as well. This, I think it came third overall in the value for money. So pretty impressive product. And like I say, if you like your products to really stick and you like a gel-like one, this is a, this is a good product. HDD Ferrous Ferric. Finally, Valet Pro Dragon's Breath. Come fourth overall in the value for money. Did very well in the actual practical test of spraying it onto an alloy wheel. Had some doubts about this spray nozzle when I first used it and I was trying to just play around with it. But when you actually get it out and you're pumping a lot quicker, it starts fanning out more. So it's a non-adjustable one. So did very well in the alloy wheel test, is good value for money. Um, there are some products there that just reacted a little bit quicker and were able to eat more oxide. So that's why it wasn't on the podium. But Valet Pro are a brand that I use a fair few of their products because they, they're kind of no-nonsense products that work well, and they're usually priced well at bulk offerings. So um, yeah, this is good stuff, but not quite reactive enough to get onto the podium of this, this particular test. So thank you very much for tuning into this best of bleeding fallout remover style video. So all of the kind of results and observations and information that I've put across in this test is my opinion of these products as I've seen them behave in my garage and using them on the particular cars over the last couple of weeks. And there are of course limitations to the accuracy of kind of these results, but I wanted to run the test fairly and give you an honest opinion and then a final recommendation. And I'm pretty pleased with the, the final three, you know, I'm confident that they are good recommendations, but like I say, 
there are some strong characteristics on there on a lot of these other products and that's why I wanted to go through them all to give every every single kind of product a fair crack of the whip so thank you for everyone that's put products into this test you know you've got to be brave when you know you know you're pitting it up against other products but all the guys were like kind of yeah let's go for it It'd be interesting to see the results so um, there we go that is the best of the fallout remover video ticked off and done um, let me know as always what your favorite products are and more importantly why they're your favorite products and there'll be more um, videos coming along shortly with other sort of detailing stuff on the channel as always so thank you very much for watching guys take care and i'll see you soon on the forensics detailing channel